Hi, in this video today I'm going to show you how to install a second hard drive into a Dell Inspiron 15R. This particular model is my own, it's an Inspiron 7520 which is shown there. Um, the laptop is about a year old, uh, it cost me about £400 when it was new. It's quite good spec, it's, it's an i5, 6 gig of RAM, but and, and at the time it came with Windows 8, but I downgraded it to Windows 7 um, for, for a number of reasons. I'm now going to upgrade it to, to Windows 8.1, but also at the same time I'm going to take the opportunity to upgrade the, the drive. So the, the hard drive that's in our laptop just now is a, a 750 gig, 5300 RPM. I've ordered a 120 gig, uh, crucial M500 solid state drive, which is going to replace the primary one. And given that the hard drive at the moment bottlenecks the computer, it should make things a little bit faster. The 120 gig isn't big enough, so I'm going to take the current 750 gig drive and I'm going to install it into one of these. So this is a, it's an optical drive bay second hard drive caddy. So and I've got a, an hard drive I'm going to demonstrate with, but I'm going to put the original hard drive into this caddy. I'm going to sacrifice the, the optical drive, or the, the Blu-ray drive that comes with the computer, and I'm going to put this in its place. Um, and that will allow me to access that. I have the Windows 8.1 running on the primary solid state drive and have my, my data and, and whatnot installed on the, the 750 gig, which will be in the, the optical drive. I've got to be honest, I've had this laptop for a year now and I, you know, I can count in one hand how many times I've used optical drive so we can sacrifice that no problem. So what we're going to do is get started with the guide, I'll just move those out of the way. Um, what I suggest doing initially is we're going to actually have to remove the, um, the, the door of the optical drive to put onto the enclosure there. So start off by opening the optical drive door, you can do this from the BIOS to save you booting into Windows. Uh, and then power off the laptop. With the laptop powered off, just close over the lid and then flip it over on its end. And the first thing, just make sure the power adapter is not plugged in and remove the battery. And stick that out of the way. I'm going to remove some screws now to take away this bay door here. So the hard drive sits in there. And also there's a, sorry the hard drive sits there, yep, and there's a little screw which holds the optical drive in here, and we're going to have to take that out. Um, to do this I'm using a 50mm Phillips screwdriver. Um, I'm going to remove two screws, uh, one here and one here, sorry three, there's another one down here. And with those screws removed, there's some clips down here and down here, down with the speaker grill, holding this panel in place. I'm just going to loosen these screws now. Now the screws themselves won't actually come out of the, the cover, which is fine, but what you'll notice as you loosen them is you get a little bit of a gap here between the, the panel and the, the base of the, the laptop itself. Um, you do need to be a little bit rough here to get the, the cover off. What you have to do is just with a little force pop off along the top here, down there, and just give it some force and, and this cover will come off. Just like that. So the primary hard drive, the 750 gig that comes with my machine is sitting here and I'm not going to remove that at the moment. When my SSD comes, that's going to come out and what I'm going to demonstrate with the caddy um, is, is where that's going to go. Um, for now, what we're going to do is remove the optical drive and to do that, we're going to remove this screw here. I'm just going to move the camera a little bit so that you can see how the drive's removed. This screw does come out, this one doesn't stay in place, and you want to keep this one safe. With that removed, you just want to pull the drive, get the drive tray out here, and then just give it a wee nudge, and that'll come out. Again, don't, don't push that drive in because we're going to need it out to, to get this, um, this bezel off here. I'm now going to take a look at the caddy and we'll show you that. So what we have here is the optical, the Blu-ray drive that came out of the, the Dell laptop and what we have on the right here is the, the caddy itself. You can see the shapes are identical so when I put this into the laptop it's going to slot in place perfectly just as the original drive did, which is kind of what we're wanting here. 
Um, the first thing I'm going to do is put the, the hard drive in there. So when I do this um, myself, what I'm going to do is, is put the original 750 gig, but I've got another SATA drive here I'm going to use to demonstrate. But the first thing I did was remove the screws. So there's a screw on the inside, not the bottom here. Oh, I mean, your card might differ. But on this one, I've got, um, it was about £10 on eBay. And I've got a SATA connection here, and then at either side, we've got some little clips that hold with pressure the driving place and screw in at the bottom end here. And I've loosened those screws out, you can see this one down here. I'm just going to pop that hard drive in there just now. Just like that. And that's a pretty good fit. Um, and then I'm just going to drive those screws into place. I've got a smaller screwdriver. This one's a um, again, 50 mil, so I'm just going to drive those screws in there. I zoomed in here and I apologise if the quality is not as great as it should be. What we're looking for is down here, in the, so on the CD drive, just to get your bearings right, um, down here, just in there, let's see if I can focus that a bit better. Yep, so in there there's a little clip, just going to put this down. Using a small flathead screwdriver, we actually just want to pop that out. So just holding it, give that clip a wee push. And you can see that this cover comes off. Now this might be a little bit tight the first time you do it. And then we've got a second clip here. Okay, that then comes off. Just going to put the, take the blue edge drive and set it to the side. Okay, so now I've got the, the caddy, I've got the um, the bezel from the original CD drive. You can see that there's three clips here that, that line up almost perfectly with the um, the holes and drives. One there, one there, and there's a kind of wider one here. Just going to line those up, just like that, and push it in. And that gives it a nice tight fit, which is good. Now, there's one more I want to show you, if we take the CD drive again. Take the CD drive, you can see that on the back of it here there's this additional um, kind of bracket that, that holds the CD drive into the, the laptop and that doesn't exist on this one but we do have the screws to mount it as you can see. So what we're going to do is just remove this bracket. And then we're going to mount it onto the um, the caddy. Okay, so I've mounted this bracket onto the caddy now. It's ready to, so it's got the, the fascia there fitted. The hard drive is nice and secure inside. And this, uh, this clip's fitted back in again. So what I'm going to do now is just slot it into the laptop. Let's push it all the way in. And then we've got the screw tear down here. Is fine. I'm just going to slide that along and then we're going to put this uh, cover back on. So again we're just going to line it up just like before. Um, suggest starting to secure this end in the bottom one. And then basically just tighten the screws up. If the screws tightened up you can just have a wee feel around about the case and just make sure it's all nice and secure flush, which is, and pop the battery back in. And then you're done. Now I've got my CD drive here. I could put that bezel on there if I wanted to, to keep it for safekeeping. It's a blurry drive. Um, and then that's pretty much it. So if we just take a look, so I've got the, the caddy installed there. You can see obviously the, the button have no action. Um, but it looks almost as if Let's see, I mean you wouldn't know that the, the carrier was installed, it seems to be a, a kind of good fit there, that looks good. And it's just a case of uh, I've it up and then you'll, you'll have an extra drive. I hope this video is of use, uh, of use to you. If you have any questions or anything just let me know. Thanks for watching. Now that I've powered the laptop back on that's booted in I thought I would show you 
Now, I don't know if this is specific to my specific caddy or not, um, but you can see here, obviously, the, the eject button, if we press, it doesn't do anything. There's nothing to eject. Um, but the light, which would usually show that the disc read activity in the blue ray, actually shows this blue colour to, to confirm that the drive is connected. And when there's drive activity, it flashes red. If I just open up a folder, for example, you can show, see that it's, it's blinking red to indicate that there's disc activity going on there. Open another folder. There we go, you can see that, which is uh, quite good.